846, <laughs> welcome back. Today is National Care Package Day, a unique holiday celebrating local businesses. Box of Care, that's a local gift company. They make customizable gift boxes showcasing flavors exclusive to New Orleans. Owner Jonathan Floyd is here to share more about today. Also, his business. Good morning to good you, morning. sir. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So this was a transition to you from a completely different career. Yeah, so my background is in corporate recruitment for, I think, almost 12 years or so. Um, and in 2022, I made the leap to do my business full time. So I actually mm -hmm. started in 2017 as just a way to, to give people a taste of New Orleans. Yeah. Uh, obviously, the pandemic hit. Things slowed down. I, I gave myself six months. I said, if this doesn't continue on, I'll stop the business. But it actually took off when people couldn't travel right. to New Orleans. And since then, I, I hit the ground running and just been working with different events and vendors and all sorts of uh, stuff that involves New Orleans, just showcasing the city as best as possible. Right, it's a vast array of products and particularly things that you do miss. Elmer's Chewies yes, and whatnot, correct. show us what you got. Yeah, yeah. so um, Elmer's Chewies obviously is, is a popular brand, but for me, it's about finding the small businesses as well. So mm -hmm. Jambalaya Girl as, a, as an alternative to Zatarans, Aunt Sally's, uh, Pecans, Wix Nola, the mm -hmm. Candle Company, El Guapo Bitters, Nola Cookie Company, Laura's Candies. So I mean, you, you get a, a nice, vast array of New Orleans things that even locals haven't had before. Yeah, most definitely. That's what I was going to bring yes. up. You're highlighting local companies. You kind of have that relationship going with them. Absolutely. And, and most of these these businesses are family companies, mm. uh, either minority owned, woman owned, just a small business. Mm -hmm. And I go see them at their particular places. So, I mean, I've got real relationships with these with these companies. Now, did you think that it was going to take off as much as it did? I, oh, that's a good question. Uh, yes. Okay. Because I think the, mis the mission around showcasing small businesses has become popular in America, sure. but people love New Orleans. Mm -hmm. So for me, I'm like, I, I get to kind of bring that to them through hotels, concierges, events, or whatever. But I mean, we underestimate how much people love New Orleans. Well, and it also seems to be part of a larger push here locally of folks really doing their thing to showcase the wares that they create. Yeah, ab absolutely. And, and like I said, with, with you know, events coming in things, there's a lot of opportunities. And I want to highlight working with um, New Orleans and companies. So the Convention mm -hmm. and Visitors Bureau, Walt Leger, Kevin Ferguson, Rachel Avery, their entire team who's been instrumental in helping me get my business yeah. further and further out there to the folks who, again, are coming to the city and love the city. Yes, sir. So with less than a minute left as sure. a small business owner, what's next for you? Where do you hope to see the business going? Oh, man. I mean, I, I kind of want to perfect this more in New Orleans. Just yeah. continue to do a lot more of what I'm doing, showcasing small businesses, and then eventually take this to other cities and do it. But I know it won't be the same Yeah, because, I mean, else. come on, you don't have what we have here. We, you don't have what we have. So, mm. I, you know, I cherish the opportunity that I have, and I'm just, I'm really grateful that I get to do this on a daily basis. All right. Jonathan, we're grateful to have you Thank here you. this Appreciate morning. It. Thank you again. And you can visit boxofcare.com to place your order. Get it done here because it's a local business that's highlighting local businesses, doing some good here in the community.